Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general reading for Cancer. How your spiritual journey is going for March 2023. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look and see how your spiritual journey is going. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So Cancer, tell me about Cancer here. Tell me about Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? regarding your spiritual journey how is cancer's spiritual journey going for march 2023 for cancer for cancer all right tell me what cancer here what's going on with cancer what's going on with cancer regarding their spiritual journey what's going on with cancer regarding their spiritual journey here we have the hierophant taurus energy and the king of swords it seems like you're absorbing a lot of knowledge and wisdom here yeah, so I feel like you gave me a lot of knowledge and wisdom regarding spirituality, personal growth, spiritual growth, healing here. Um, you know, some of you guys could be, you know, uh, you know, just tuning into a higher power or even talking to someone about this that's guiding you through this process here. Um, so Taurus energy with the Hierophant, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. We have the Four of Cups here and the Fool. You know, one of the things is that I feel like there is sort of like a, an exciting new beginning here for you because I feel like, you know, there's an energy of sort of like having a new lease on life here. And I just feel like you're just excited about what's to come because I feel like you're, we're kind of like, you know, you know, cautious about, you know, kind of like taking a leap here and taking risk here. And I feel like you're taking a bit more risk here. Uh, you know, I just feel like maybe you're learning to just enjoy the process here through your, uh, uh, through, uh, you know, the, uh, through the knowledge that you're absorbing here. Okay. The full Aries energy, Aquarius energy, the strength card here in the eight of cups. You know, it seems like you could be in this energy of like gaining the courage of walking away from things that are no longer serving you here. Leo energy with the strength card, with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like you're really focusing on your happiness here. With the Five of Swords, I feel like there's an energy of you putting yourself first, okay? With the Magician here, Gemini Virgo, you're definitely manifesting. Uh, you're definitely manifesting a new beginning here for yourself. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the knowledge that you're absorbing here. Because I feel like... Uh, Cancer, I feel like you're reading a lot of books here regarding personal growth and spiritual growth and healing here. This is so interesting because I feel like there are people that's trying to psychically attack you here, but I feel like you're protected. I mean, some of you guys are, you know, some of you guys might do magic here too. Yeah, but I'm not really going to take this devil card. Tell me about the fool card. Wow. Um, good fortune is upon you here. You know, things are turning around. Things are turning around here for you. And I feel like, you know, there's a sense of feeling, you know, really great about yourself, feeling better about yourself, feeling optimistic about the future here for you, uh, Cancer. This is looking pretty good. What else do we have here for Cancer? Eight of Cups. You know, the Death card, Scorpio energy. It's, yeah, so, you know, I do feel like change is upon you here. You know, I do feel like this is an exciting time for you, you know? So I feel like this is something that you're really looking forward to because I feel like you've done some really hard work on yourself here, Cancer, you know? You know, whatever you're reading here, I mean, some of you guys could be reading the Bible, you know? You could be reading anything, anything that's helping you along with your spiritual journey here and your personal growth here because I do feel like there's a sense of experiencing fulfillment here for yourself, all right? What else do we have here for Cancer? What else do we have here for Cancer? What else do we have here for Cancer? We have the Star and the Two of Swords. Look at that. It seems like you're going through a huge spiritual awakening. One of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, um, perhaps you're accepting things that you can't change, but you can change yourself. 
you know, you could improve yourself here. The star card here, Aquarius energy. Let's see what else we have. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Hermit here, Virgo energy. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Three of Cups. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that you're really changing directions in your life. And one of the things I'm getting here, we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. You might be inspiring someone to change here too. You might be inspiring someone to face their shadow side here. This is someone that you dealt with in the past, I feel, because someone here is definitely watching you. Someone here is definitely watching you going through, going through this huge change and it's sort of like, oh my God, Cancer is doing this. Cancer is looking great. Cancer is feeling great. I think I want to do that too. Tell me about this uh, star card. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. You know, I feel like you didn't believe that life can turn around here for you. And I feel like it is because there is prosperity here for you. There, you know, there's happiness here for you. You know, I feel like you guys are ta really tapped into the universe and the higher power here. You know, I feel like, uh, you know, this is so interesting because I feel like you guys are getting a lot of that healing medicine from like artwork, artwork with like different patterns and stuff like that. So you could be make, making artwork of that stuff or that you're just drawn to it, uh, Cancer. The uh, Queen of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, the, the Hermit here, and the Temperance card. Yeah, I feel like you're inspiring someone to heal. They're trying to figure this out too figure out how to go on this journey here. This is someone that you dealt with before. Yeah, this is someone that you dealt with before. So Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. Tell me about the Ace of Wands here. Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Three of Cups here and the Moon here. Cancer, Pisces. You know, there's a few people that, that you're inspiring to change, to do better, because I feel like you're setting an example for these individuals that yes, change can happen if you want it to. Because you're, you're doing it yourself here, Cancer. You're doing it yourself. This is interesting because, uh, you know, I feel like this was hard for you to, you know, pursue here. You know, this was hard for you to do, but I feel like you're doing it and I feel like you're inspiring others here, you know, to heal, to do the work here. You know, I, I do feel like maybe some of you guys might be uh, in this energy of, you know, you know, being, a, you know, an energy worker, a therapist or something like that. Maybe you're helping people to, to seek out happiness here, uh, you know, to give them the, uh, to give people the tools that they need to overcome their hurdles, you know? So, uh, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.